We're sorry to announce that this train is delayed by 12 minutes. Due to adverse weather conditions, this service is now cancelled. So the announcements that you really dread hearing, it's freezing cold, you're standing on the train platform and suddenly you realise your journey to work is going to take much longer than normal. I'm here to meet two people who've delivered that news thousands of times. Phil and Eleanor are both voiceover artists and one of their main jobs is recording messages for train and tube stations. I'd uh, done ten years at the BBC in Manchester and that came to, uh, to an end and I thought, well, what do I do now? And the answer was voiceovers. Government scrappage scheme ends soon. Urgent warning. Phil and I being together, we can sort of bounce off each other and, and it sounds a lot more natural, so it's quite nice to be able to work with each other. The only thing is that sometimes, you know, I mean, funnily enough, you know, we're the UK's most apologetic couple, apparently, um, because of the, the rail announcement stuff. If we have a little bit of a Barney or something and a client phones up and says, can you do a joint advert? We're like, yes, yes, of course, that's fine. I was <laughs> sort of scowling at each other, but still sounding very happy. <laughs> I was always told when I was first being trained by a chap who's still in the business, who's very, very good at it, better than I am. When you start to feel slightly ridiculous in yourself, you're probably just about getting it right. All it is is actually just a very exaggerated version of your real self. That's right! People never recognised me on the tube because I had to be so completely um, neutral. So I ended up talking like this um, and using a, a voice that sounds something similar to... Um, the next train to Bank will depart in five minutes. But as far as the weather's concerned, you know, uh, it makes no difference to us. Or if there's a real big problem somewhere on the network, I won't even know about it, frankly. And although I'm there saying, I'm sorry to announce that the train is delayed, well, I'm not because I'm still asleep in bed. Of course, I, I don't like the idea of people being late and, and kept shivering. But the likelihood is that, you know, when people... At the peak time of the morning are standing on the platform of Knightsbridge Station waiting for their train to arrive. I'm probably tramping across the field taking my children to school. And, you know, funnily enough, my daily commute is just to walk to school with the children and walk back again. And to the studio, we literally walk across the hall. Oh, look, Phil, we need to go. We're running late to get the boys from school. <gasps> oh, yes. I apologise for the late collection of the boys from school. This is because of an overrunning voice session earlier. Oh, sorry. Um, are we going in the car or should we walk? If we walk, it will take nine minutes. If we go in the car, it will take four minutes. It's a tricky one, isn't it? Is it raining? Of course it's raining. This is Bolton. Car. James Webster, Channel M Today.